Hello guys, this is Sax from saxart.2x.nu and today tutorial we wanna modeling a flower pot. So first of all we have to look for the uh, reference image. Well you can download it from my website or just google anyone, any image. So let's start, let's go to for view. I'm gonna go to from, then we're gonna edit, configure, and back. I'm gonna look for the reference image. So let me see if I have it here. Ooh, there you go. Okay, we have the image right there. We're gonna resize it to 250. We're gonna be using the almost the same technique that we use for the chest piece. So let's just grab a click on splint and be splint and start drawing pools points we got right one over here then here start going around and around and around until you get the whole figure done you gotta be very careful with the details right here you see so let's go click here then you're gonna click a little bit up down up again let's see there we go there we go don't worry about the point we can just move the points around later and the only difference between this one and the chest piece that we just we have to make a hole right in the middle so if we keep if we keep going like straight, it's gonna close the whole um, figure. So we have to make like a hole on it. So let's just go down all around the edge, the edges. Just do it really fast. All the way to the bottom. Alright, now that we have done with this part, we're gonna um, click on hypernaps and and nerds and get the ladder nerds. We're gonna drop the spleen inside, and as you can see, we have the whole thing. So now we're gonna go to the perspective view, and you can see we have the here. Okay, now what we need to do is create some soil. So I'm just gonna do it in a simple way. We're gonna create we're gonna create the soil and the plant out of the same. So let's go to primitive, click on this, let's go to fourth view, and we're gonna make the this try to fit on inside of the pad so they just start checking it's 75 probably I think let's move it a little bit to the top let's see let's click let's make a render maybe that's now nah, we need a little bit more bigger so let's just do it 78 maybe 78 and let's click let's go a little bit down that would be perfect now what we're gonna do is gonna make the this click over here make it editable and we're gonna go into top view and we're gonna select all the polygons so make sure you click on polygons then go on selection life tool and click on square and select all the polygons for the this 
now what we're gonna do we're gonna go to a structure matrix is truth and we're gonna in a step we're gonna use let's try 12 12 on scale we're gonna do 50 maybe and in variation we're gonna select per step let's try now let's click apply and it looks kinda funny so let's just check it out let's do a render actually it doesn't look that bad you can just um, play around with the settings and see how it looks It looks alright. So let's just do some rotation. Let's rotate to 50 maybe. Alright, it looks much better. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create some um, material. So, go to File, New Material, click it color texture I'm gonna select gradient click on gradient and the first one we're gonna select a green color so a green one and we're gonna go a little bit darker that's good then we're gonna get another point and select a little bit a little bit lighter and the third one, we're gonna get a lighter one. Not too light. That's good. Now, a thumb lens, we're gonna set on um, 24. 24 and up test, we're gonna do 1.5. Let's see how it goes. And maybe. Uh, much better I like that color so we can do some bump let's click on bump and we're gonna do some noise nice yes yeah, that's, that's good so let's just grab the material and put it on the disc that under this and now we're going to do a material for that flower pot which usually just going to get like some simple material like an orange darker one that's good click it then spectacular get a little bit taller. yeah that's good and so let's just drop this to learn sprint with the camera let's render oh it looks pretty awesome you can play with the colors and make it more realistic but this is just a quick tutorial how to do a um, uh, flower pot so I hope you guys enjoy